year, students from the state of Hawaii are given the opportunity through a generous grant from the Freeman Foundation to travel abroad and experience an entirely new country. 14 students from 11 public and private schools throughout Hawaii went on the trip of a lifetime with the Pacific and Asian Affairs Council. Two weeks of exploring and immersing themselves in the culture gave them a collection of incredible, life-changing memories. Being in this foreign country has made me more courageous and I told myself that I might as well try it. Before setting foot in China, students carried expectations of the trip and what their travels would bring them. Upon arrival, they found themselves on a path of self-discovery, carved by their impressions of Chinese history, the realities of modern China, and the diverse population which drastically altered the outlook of each student, not only in regards to China, but also how they perceived the global community. There's so many connections we can make in, with people around the world, and I was very afraid to come to a different country, but when I realized all these um, similarities we have within our differences, I felt at home, and I wasn't afraid to try new things because everybody else was, and it it just felt like home to me this whole time. A major global player, China is known for its long and expansive history, deep-rooted social customs, and various art forms, which all contribute to its rich and fascinating culture. The urban cities, along with rural countryside, fuse to create a perfect combination of old and new, bonded by generations of people. I was immediately impressed and amazed because um, over this trip, I have seen the buildings, the architecture, the artwork, the paintings of China as to be so utterly amazing. Beijing, a 3,000-year-old city in the heart of China, exemplifies this blending of contemporary and classic. The students visited places like the Olympic Stadium and attended various business meetings, but also engaged themselves in Chinese culture through language learning and visited historical cultural sites such as the Forbidden City, Summer Palace, and Temple of Heaven. And I learned a lot of new words. It's really hard, really difficult, but I learned a lot of different things and um, I was able to do some uh, simple communication such as ni hao or xie xie and yeah, it was really fun. The PAC students also took an overnight train to Xi'an, home to the Terracotta Soldiers, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the 8th Wonder of the World. After getting acquainted with the ancient Terracotta Army, students next had a visit and cultural exchange at a local middle school outside of Xi'an. When I first got there, there's just students like normal students playing ping pong, writing, so after seeing those kids, it actually made me want to come back and maybe be an English teacher in a school here. Getting a slice of life of an average Chinese student school day was just the first step, as the group next had an overnight stay in the small village of Dangjia. Uh, living in the rural areas in Dangjia made me see that it's okay to not have electricity after a certain time. It's okay for the water not to heat up when you want it to heat up. It's more like you should be appreciative that you have water, you have somewhere to live. The simplicity of village life was a sharp contrast to their next stop, Shanghai, the most populated city in the world. It was a transition to go from a tiny village with cobblestone streets to a city bursting with activity as Shanghai is home to some of the tallest buildings in all of China and millions of people. Getting here and seeing how many people there really were and they were everywhere. And I thought the people were gonna be like really rushy and not and like not welcoming to foreigners and visitors, but actually it was the opposite. They're really friendly and they, they're really welcoming to us, even people on the street. Like if we didn't know them, they still like if we smiled, they would smile back. Smiles were in no short supply when, after spending a day exploring the city, the Hawaii students met their homestay partners from a local high school, the highlight of the trip for almost every student. The two-night homestay gave them the opportunity not to only explore Shanghai, but it was also during their time with their host families that the students gained an even deeper connection and appreciation of China. Being with my homestay family has allowed me to open up my feelings with them. I was able to share things that I haven't shared with other people, such as my feelings for my family, my feelings towards China. I was able to express it more openly with them. It has been such an eye-opening experience. The homestay has really made a big impact on my life because I got to experience the daily lifestyle 
of the people. I could talk to my homestay partner, but I couldn't really talk to her parents or her grandparents, and I bet they had the coolest stories and could share the most greatest experiences with me. So I really want to go in and learn more about the Chinese language and study more about China. Sadly, in no time at all, the students were saying goodbye to their newfound friends and heading back home to Hawaii. Although the students left China, they carried with them the bonds and everlasting memories they had made. Each knew this experience and growth gained from this trip would be something that traveled with them for the rest of their lives.